everybody, welcome back to another Eye Care for Your Brain with board certified neuropsychologist, Dr. Karen Sullivan. We are doing our top 10 secrets of brain health and I am back to tell you number five. Number five is to be aware of polypharmacy. Polypharmacy is if you take more than five drugs. This increases the risk of adverse unintended side effects significantly. Between 67% of people age 62 to 85 fall in this category. Now this is concerning with age because as we get older, comes a lot of changes in the body's ability to absorb, metabolize, and excrete substances. They can become a lot more powerful at lower doses. So there are three classes of drugs I really want you to be concerned about as it relates to brain health. The first one is opioids, second one is benzodiazepines, and the third one is anticholinergics. We really see these in full effect with over-the-counter drugs, specifically anything that relates to Benadryl, with an antihistamine effect or a PM drug. So I want you to tell your medical providers every single thing you take, even if it's a supplement or an over-the-counter. Try to use the same pharmacy for everything so that they can catch. It's kind of like a secondary safety uh, ledge to make sure that there's no unexpected side effects. Use a pill box every day because it's either in there or it's not. You don't have to worry about double dosing or underdosing. Do not mix medications with alcohol. In every single year, I want you to insist on having a medication review with your primary care provider. So as we get older, we will all find this. You are given many, many, many prescription drug medications. There's a lot more that we get than we actually wind up using. So that tells us we've got a discrepancy in how many meds are being recommended to us versus how many we're actually comfortable taking. But as we get older, we have a massive increase in the likelihood of having an adverse drug reaction. Now that can be anywhere from a fall where we hit our head and have a problem that way, or just having brain fog, slowness in processing. So not only is it because of those changes in aging, but we also see less muscle mass as we get older and less water being held in the body because of that. So over time, we have changes in the kidneys and in the liver, decreasing the blood flow. So this prolongs the half-life of drugs in the body and increases the sensitivity in all parts of the body, including the blood-brain barrier. These are concerning to people who study and support people with dementia because we know that any of these side effects can ultimately increase the reasons that people do develop a dementing disorder or that it gets worse over time. So there are cognitive effects of opioids, and this gets complicated because chronic pain also causes some cognitive dysfunction. So I'm not poo-pooing these drugs, I'm not saying they're always bad, they do have a time and a place, but what you don't wanna do is take them blindly without the realization that there may be a cognitive risk. Benzodiazepines, these are our Xanaxes, our Ativans, our, our Clonopins. These are usually meant to treat insomnia, anxiety in a very, very short term. But what we see is that many times people are prescribed these for a long period of time. And over time, you actually need more to get the same effect. But in the case of brain health, we are worried about their impact on falls and fractures and the increased risk for dementia over time. So we do know that there are cognitive effects of even a one-time dose of a benzodiazepine. So even just using it once, you're not gonna be able to make the same quality of memories, the same quantity of memories. But over time, we also know that there is now pretty clear evidence that we are increasing our risk of all types of cognitive impairment, including dementia like Alzheimer's disease. So the association is stronger the longer you use the medications. The risk was nearly doubled for those who use them over 180 days consistently. So this is where you wanna make sure you really are sticking with the short-term duration. The American Geriatric Society warns us, do not use these as the first line of treatment for insomnia, agitation, or delirium, that some use may be indicated. But what we want to do is be very mindful of the impact of these three different types of drugs on brain health. So that's why it is my number five secret for brain health. See you next time. Mm -hmm.